What's up guys, this is Sonic Soul here with another video. This time I wanted to cover something uh, pretty peculiar that was found out by Mago uh, with Street Fighter 6, specifically with somebody who was ranked really high. There was a cheater that was actually running amok. 2301 MR, uh, his name was called Lightspeed. He was playing and it was very suspicious. So if I go ahead and I look him up real quick. Um, so this guy, got reprimanded by Capcom and they were at 2,301 MR and they went all the way down to 1,500 MR because as you can see, you're like, oh man, this dude has an 82% win rate, right? But when you look at his matches in his match history, you can see he was like 2,308 MR. Like he, he had like a lot of MR and it was just showing him like winning a lot of matches. Um, but we want to go into detail about this user. We want to really see, like, why. Why was he winning everything? Was it actually legitimate or not? Uh, what was going on, right? Obviously, this video is in Japanese. I'm not going to understand a lot of it. So I'm using Google Translate to, like, kind of, like, grab what he is saying and then, like, have it translate it for me. So we'll see where we get from what we get from this video. This person will never receive a win. That's crazy. He doesn't want him to win. You know what's crazy? So that so I'm gonna explain this to you right now. So he whiff punished it, right? Like cool. But the the thing to understand about this whiff punish to explain it to you guys you're gonna see in this video that lightspeed was able to whiff punish 1000% of the time with low forward into like spiral arrow and to really break this down to you i'm not telling you that it that you can't do that right like you can't whiff punish with low forward as cami but most of the time when people whiff punish with low forward they have to do drive rush to at least guarantee that if they're incorrect, that the next button they do is plus, right? This is because if we go and look at the hit confirm window for Cami's crouching medium kick, it's 13 frames. So to cancel crouching medium kick with Cami into spiral arrow consistently and whiff punish it without any mistakes, like consistently, like 100% of the time. We're not talking about like, oh man, he gets it like 60, 70% of the time. We're talking 100% of the time. Not even Punk can do it 100% of the time. And I'm not shitting on him when I say that. I'm just saying it's humanly impossible to get a 13 frame hit confirm every time as a human being. It's just impossible into Spiral Arrow. Any 13 frame hit confirm is very difficult. So the fact that this guy is doing it every time is wild. Because there's no way somebody could do it every time. See? You see that, right? Every time he gets low forward spiral arrow. Every time. He says, Ima nage nuke shita toki dake ano sutraiku. Strike wa deru iteru. He literally says, like, it's it's happening like every time I do throw. Like, look, throw. He's dead. <laughs> so there's a lot of other things that Mago's gonna go over. I'm on that, I'm on that. And we're gonna we're gonna see it. The first thing he says is that even if he was playing on leverless, I don't think that it would be possible to do what he's doing. So the first thing that's going on. キャミの人は一切ニュートラルが入ってなかった。まずその時点でおかしい。人の手じゃないことがもう基本的にはもうちょっと確定してる。When you so they're always able to block everything. They have auto guard. You see that? 
Huh? It's, it's literally auto guard. Like you see that they're walking back. So when someone is walking back or walking forward, you tend to do a low to blow them up, right? Because they're not crouch blocking. But what happens here is he's blocking every low. He's blocking every fucking crouching light kick. And you'll notice he'll go for like crouch jab, crouch short, stand jab, right? See stand jab, crouch short, and he still blocked it. You see that? And then walk back immediately. Ha! Huh? How is that possible? Usually you would go back to neutral, but it's, it's instant. Instant. It's not like he's going to a neutral animation before he crouches. He's crouching a legit on the frame that it's hitting him. And you're gonna notice it again, guarding every low. Shiagami kick. I think the subtitle said crouching kick. Like you can see it like, it's insane. He's just auto guarding it. See, see, low forward. で、ゲージが満タンなのにもかかわらずなぜかアロー入れ込んでくるんです。いや、ラッシュでいいじゃん。どちらにせよ。確認できててもできてなくても。だからそこら辺のあの下手さがあるのにもかかわらずなぜか
He I'm, says something called Real Force GX1, and I wonder if that is if that is the program used. Real Force GX1 is a keyboard, I think. Oh, I see. So the Real Force GX1, I wonder if it has a functionality on it. Let me look it up. Probably like a wooting where you can change the actuation. Yeah, it seems to have the ability to change the actuation on it because it has a dual APC function. Actuation point changer. Yeah, it has an actuation point changer dual apc and that's probably what this guy was using to emulate that type of movement which is not possible on any controller and you see like he immediately gets a meaty jab and it's zero yeah, you see how he gets back throw every single time too? Like, there's no reason for him to back throw the Ken out the corner. But he does it every single time. And the jab that he's doing, the jab that he's actually doing, by the way, is not supposed to be zero on block. It's supposed to be minus. It's supposed to be minus, but he's able to meet the jab every time which is not possible <laughs> bro bro look at this bro look every time no drive rush zero on block jab which is not supposed to be the case <laughs> <laughs> this is wild, bro. Look at this. Bro. Bro, you did not react. Literally six frames. Six frames every time. That is not humanly possible to do. To have that in such a frame perfect position. So And the reason why they're able to walk up and throw so brazenly is because they can always auto guard a, a, a light. No, nah, they can always auto guard a low attack. They're always able to auto guard a low attack every single time. They never have to worry about ever having to block low. It'll just block for you. That's why you can just walk up and just throw no problem. で、俺がボタンを押してから押してるもん。ロー。だからリバサじゃねえんだ。あ、だからリバサじゃねえんだ。なあ。そして極めつけは so he's like, yo, you're literally pressing the DP input the moment I press the fucking throw. Ain't no way. そして極めつけは Ain't no way you're pressing it. And he, die, he he always gets DI every time. Does he run into him again? Oh my god, he does. This is light speed. He runs into him again. He said, stop it already, please. Oh, nah, he reported him to Capcom, and they literally put his MR all the way back down to 1500. おい、パナシに弱いってお前嘘じゃねえかよ。ガードされたぞ。読み合ってくるぞ。Yeah, he's dead. 
いやてか俺が学習してきてる説あるな<笑>そしてこのライトスピードの時間を奪ってやろうこの10秒奪う He's like, do I run it back? <laughs> no, he's gonna, let it, he's gonna let it run the 10, the 10 seconds and then leave.、Oh, Bad play. <laughs> yeah, how do you lose with a bot? Online Taikai in Tokyo, 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 t o k y There's a chance that this person could also play in tournament with these tools, which I don't blame him. A lot of the online pro tour circuit is done online. The World Warrior events,、uh, the CPT regionals, the, the fact that like, there's only three offline majors really for the CPT. It's going to be nigh impossible to avoid situations like this. A lot of. Street Fighter 6's Pro Tour is online. And so the chances of someone cheating with these tools is high. It's super high. And it's good on Capcom that they addressed this issue and they were able to actually like say, hey, we're going we're gonna to make sure he goes back down to 1500. Like it, it's definitely something that should have been done because it's not, it's just not a good look in general. Now, I don't know if there's other people doing it. I heard from F Champ that there's, like, Filipino Champ, that there's another person doing something like this. I'm not sure. But it would definitely be very hard to tell unless you went into the replay. But if you're really good and you have a keen eye, you could tell if they're auto blocking. And it, it's something similar to, like, Tekken. JDCR would always upload, like, hackers playing. Every time? Let me turn on closed caption because he actually translates his stuff in English. Auto crouch? But crouch backdash repeat? This is weird. So he was crouching all the way in a random right dick jab. So maybe the AI decided to crouch, but the player never knew. Then the player tried to launch with down forward two, resulting in the dick jab. Just a theory. I don't want to be rude if he's innocent, but here it is again. Auto crouch for all high moves. He's a hacker, isn't he? Dig jab again. Those crouches are all programmed. He's not doing a thing. So if I throw a high at close range, he'll always crouch. See? It's not him doing it. <laughs> auto parry! <laughs> auto parry! You're gonna see it twitching and reacting to every bit of his movement. It's insane. Auto parry. <laughs> This hacker is not even that good. <laughs> Guys, stop cheating in fighting games, please. I'm begging you. Stop cheating in fighting games, please, man. Auto crouch everything, bro. <laughs> look, look! This script is insane! Where, though? Where is that? <laughs> This is insane. So that's what I mean, right? Like, if it can happen in Tekken, it can definitely happen in Street Fighter. Street Fighter V had some cheating stuff back in the day, but this is a new level. Now it's like competitive cheating where you can literally see they're like auto guarding, man. Like, it's, it's, it's wild. Because you can't, like I said, like the things that Lightspeed was doing, you, you can't do it. It's not humanly possible. I really, I'm glad that Capcom called this guy out. And I hope that they can do something about this style of cheating soon because it's. I hope that more people are not doing this. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what do you think about cheaters in fighting games? What, what do you think Capcom should do in this scenario?
now that they've at least found with light speed how can they handle this for the pro tour you guys let me know down below in the comments and yet definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when i upload more videos like this please definitely subscribe i appreciate you guys for watching all my content i'll see y'all in the next one peace